This is the first of four videos about the process of completing the square. First, in part one, we're going to take a geometric look at this process. We'll start by looking at polynomials that are monic polynomials, that is, have a lead coefficient of 1. So in other words, a monic polynomial is something like x squared plus 2x plus 5, where the coefficient of x squared is 1. And a non-monic polynomial is different. The coefficient of x squared is something other than 1. In this example, it's 3. And we'll look at the second example at some time later. But first, we're going to model the expression x squared plus 4x plus 20 geometrically and show how we actually do geometrically complete a square. Now the goal of this is to rearrange the pieces that you see so that we use the x squared, all of the x bars, so that's all of the blue stuff, plus as many ones as we need to make the largest square possible. Now according to this model, this first square blue block is an x squared and it has an area of x squared because its dimensions are height of x width of x so this is our x squared the next four blocks are x blocks and they have a height of x a width of one so they each have an area of x whatever x is and there are four of them in this case and then on the right we have twenty square units each one of those has an area of one once again, we want to rearrange these pieces to make the largest square possible that involves the x squared, all of the x bars, and then as many units as we need. So we can rearrange the blocks first by taking the x squared and putting the two x blocks to the right and two x blocks below, leaving an, uh, a corner open. We can fill that corner with four units from the 20 that we had. We could just stick them right in there. And we can actually see that we have completed a square. Now what we have is something that has the same unit as before, the same area as before, x squared plus 4x plus 20, but the pieces have been rearranged so that we have a square on the left and then some pieces left over. We have also transformed this expression from x squared plus 4x plus 20 to x squared plus 4x plus 4, and that's what we have here on the left side, and then 16 units on the right. Now this square over here on the left has a height of x plus 2 and a width of x plus 2, so that we can express this whole area as x plus 2 squared plus 16. We're going to take one more look at this. I'll go through it again quickly just so we can see how the pieces fit together. We start with the expression x squared plus 4x plus 20. On the left side we have a square with four x's but we've rearranged them leaving an open space in the lower right hand corner. We borrow four units and put them into the empty space. and complete the square. And this is the same as doing algebraically separating those two, um, separating the original configuration into two parts and then writing the area of the left part, that square, as x plus 2 squared plus 16. This is the geometric model. Next we're going to look at how to do it algebraically.